castles, little extra towers and bridges and, and so on. <clears throat> you can see it looks pretty bare right now. It doesn't look like a castle at all. On top are going to be the towers. Now on the bottom, I'm going to put walls to cover up the bottoms. That will also make it look a little more like a castle, make it look a little more solid. I'm pointing to the areas where I'm going to put some walls. A wall back there too. And I'm going to put a wall back there to cover that up. I'm going to put a little a little cone-shaped rooftop right there. Now, when I'm doing the, the castles, uh, oh, I'm going to put a, a wall there and some kind of tower on top of that. I'm going to put a tower on, on that circular area. It's going to lo look a little bit like a gazebo. That's what I have in mind. Uh, there's going to be a tower right there in the center where I'm pointing. And I'm thinking of using the toothpaste box for that. I'm going to place a tower. Oh, there's the toothpaste box. It looks pretty rough right now, but there's going to be a rooftop on, on top of it. There's going to be a tower covering that trigger right there. That trigger looks pretty awkward, tilted at that angle. Once the tower is in place, it'll look much better. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there. Uh, what I actually ended up creating in that spot was very different from what I envisioned. There's going to be a tower over that. That's another trigger. That's a rod trigger. And that'll be fairly well covered up, so you can't really see much of what's going on there. So it's a little bit of a surprise when the marble pops out of it. And that is the candy dispenser. Right now it's wide open, but there's going to be there are going to be four walls surrounding it and a tower top and a hole in the front wall where the candy will fall through. And I'm going to place a little turret right there with a rooftop on it. Okay, now I'm going to place the, the cone-shaped rooftop there, and I'll show you how to make that. Um, I'm going to draw a circle using the glue cup. I just trace the bottom of the cup very quickly, and there it is. <laughs> and I cut it out very quickly, too. <laughs> now I'm going to find the center of it. I don't, I don't have a compass, so I'm going to fold it twice, and that will give me the center of the circle. It's a little awkward folding it like that. It's better if you use a compass. Okay, now I, I also have a line that I can follow for cutting it, and there I just cut it. And I, I just slide one end over the other end and shape it into a cone. Again, it's a, the way I'm doing it here is a little bit rough, so I have to shape it with my fingers and make it look better. And the bottom is going to be a little uneven. It's not going to be a perfect cone, but I'm going to put some trim. Once I have the rooftop in place, I'm going to put some a strip of cardstock and paper around it. That'll be uh, like trim around the rooftop, sort of like a battlement, and you won't see the unevenness of the base. I just glue it in place like so. And then I paint it with acrylic paint. And uh, that's bronze metallic acrylic paint. And I got it at Michael's. I just brush it on. And I'm going to leave the spot where my fingers are touching the cone. I'm going to leave that uh, bare until the cone dries. And then I'll, I'll paint that also. Let it dry again. I don't want to touch the acrylic paint because I'm not sure what's in that paint. I'm not sure if, if there's cadmium in it. Um, I've heard that cad cadmium, which I think is in red, <laughs> I, I should know that, but that's, uh, uh, someone told me that it's poisonous, and 
I mean, it's not very good for you, so or toxic, I should say. And now I have a can filled with water. That's where I clean the brush. There it is drying. You can see the spot where I was holding it is still bare. Later on, I'll paint that. Now, when, when the cone is dry, I just put glue around the edge of that paper towel roll. That's what that is. I put the cone on top and place it as well as I can and I'll, I'll take the excess glue off the edges too and there's the strip that I just cut and I, I measured it around the uh, tower top so I, I already know what the measurement is and then I just glue it in place and there it is glued in place it looks a little rough still but I'm gonna use uh, some trim to take care of that now that cardstock and paper right there I'm going to use as the walls surrounding surrounding that little uh, tower that's next to the the cone shaped roof that I just put in there and I'm by hand I'm measuring the walls the height and the front and the side of that little tower it's it's kind of hard to describe but you'll see once I've placed this exactly how it will fit in front of that uh, the trigger okay now I'm gonna score the back side of this using a ruler I usually do this on the tabletop I don't hold it in my hands like this Okay, now I score it gently with the razor blade. Blade. I make sure that it doesn't go through and hit my hand. Normally, I don't hold it in my hands like that. Then I fold it backwards, just to just to uh, start it, and then I fold it forward okay and there you can see it they look like stucco walls and I'm going to place it over that trigger right there and find ways to glue it in place so I'm going to glue it right there with a strip of cardstock right there and right there and there it is <coughs> I also used strips of paper and cardstock on the bottom so it's glued in place there and then I also glued it on the inside on that little side piece and I made sure that it doesn't touch the trigger at all now I'm going to blend in those strips of cardstock